Hello Tap Nation, I'm Tom and today we're going to be talking about Notepad++ and Auto Hotkey. Uh, just a short video, I get asked this quite a lot actually of why I'm using Notepad++ because it doesn't have Auto Hotkey syntax highlighting. I should use another program that does have it. And I really have two answers to that is actually it does have syntax highlighting for auto hotkeys. You just got to download it, which I'm going to show you how to do and set that up, make any changes you want. And the second reason I use Notepad++ is because I'm also doing other coding, not just an auto hotkey. So it's really easy for me to switch between all the different types of syntax highlighting and whatnot versus something that's only specifically designed for auto hotkeys. So let's take a look at that. So this is what syntax highlighting looks for auto hotkeys. You know, all my sins are, you know, in blue, you know, green, all that kind of stuff. If I didn't have it, it would look something more like this. Let's just copy and paste this over where everything is just white. We don't want that. You know, this looks better. It helps stuff stick out a little bit better for you too. I also just noticed that I am apparently wearing a green t-shirt. So I am somewhat of a floating head. I should do that more often, just be a floating head on the screen instead of a body. All right, so let's see how we can get this. So you can just go to Google. Uh, I think I get just Googled uh, Notepad++ Auto Hockey theme. There's a few different websites. You know, everybody does it a little differently. So it's really up to you. But you can make changes so we're just going to go to this first one on stack overflow which i will link in the description below obviously so basically what we're going to do is uh this one has two themes he has the default and the lazy theme um, i think i went with the default here you can do a preview to see it um, so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it you're going to get a bunch of weird looking stuff here that's fine that's what you want so we're going to right click anywhere on this screen we're going to go to save as and then it's going to be an XML document type and just leave it whatever it's called. We're going to save it to my desktop. And this is what that kind of file looks like has a little globe there <clears throat> with brackets on both sides. Um, so we'll just leave that there for now. We're then going to go into auto or uh, sorry, notepad plus plus. Click on the little tab up here called Language. That should, that should be better if you could see that. Language. We're going to go down to User Define Language. And we're going to push Define Your Language. So we're going to import. So click the little import here. Find that file. I've already done this, so I'm just going to go ahead and push Cancel versus Open. You're then going to want to actually shut down Notepad++ and restart it for those changes to actually take effect. Uh, but once it does, you can go back to language and select auto hotkey, which is right there. And as you see, it just went ahead and already converted everything to how I ha I, I um, want it with that file. But let's say I want to make a change. You know, for example, I don't like send being blue or whatever. You can go to language, go back to user defined language. Push define your language. Then in this drop down, go ahead and select auto hotkey. Go to keyword list. And now we have all of our kind of like uh, groups here. <clears throat> so uh, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, do, 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 break. So anytime I type break, I can click that styler. It's going to be green. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at that real quick, actually. I guess I have to close out of everything. So yeah, there it is. Break is going to be green, but maybe I don't like that. I don't like that it's green. I want it to be something else. You know, we can go back into define your language and we can just go in here, click the foreground color, change it whatever we want. Here's kind of a bunch of presets, but you can also pull up the grid here of a color chart and change it to whatever you want. Uh, of course, if you only want to change just break, you can just copy paste it to another group so let's go ahead and get rid of it out of there and what's this color blue let's say we want it to be blue so we'll go in here you're just going to put a space and paste it there and then we're going to go ahead and there we go break is now blue 
So if you have any other questions about this, definitely let me know in the comments below. But that is why I use Notepad++ in all my videos. I get that asked a lot. So I figured you guys might want to know how to actually do that. All right, everybody, I'll see you on the next one. Enjoy. Thank you.